Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the concept operator overloading. Here you can observe in this image that more than one task is carried out by a single person. We already know the concept of function overloading in that we used to write more than one function definition under single function name and that feature in C++ is known as polymorphism that is one name and many forms. So same way we can use a single operator for multiple purpose and that is another example of polymorphism and it is called operator overloading. So let us understand what is the concept operator overloading. Here we are having operator plus and two operands are of type integer. So whenever compiler detects this plus operator and integer or float operands it will perform addition. So no need to give additional instruction to compiler to perform this operation. But here I am having three objects of type time and I am performing addition of t1 and t2 and storing answer into t3. Now these three are the object or we can say user defined data type. Now compiler will confuse when you write this statement because there are no instructions for compiler to perform addition of user defined data type. So if we want to use this plus operator to perform addition of this object, we can use operator overloading concept. We need to define addition procedure over here. Let us take another example. Here I am having two string and if I write string one plus string two, it should be concatenated and stored to the third string. So whenever compiler detects this statement, it will get confused because compiler is instructed to perform addition of integer and float only. So if you want to perform concatenation over here, you need to define these steps for that using operator overloading concept and you have to inform compiler what to do when there are two string type of operand is given for addition operator. Let us understand the concept in more detail. We already know function overloading allows you to use same function name for different definition same way operator overloading extends the overloading concept to the operators and it will allow us to assign multiple meanings to C++ operators. So operator overloading provides additional meanings to the operators like let's say plus multiplication equal equal with user defined data types because compiler know these operations with predefined or primary data types but if we want to use these operators with user defined data type then we need to define the procedure for that. Some of the operators are already overloaded in C++. What? Yes. Here you can see the asterisk symbol. It can be used as a pointer or you can access value at address or it can be used as multiplication as well. Same way we can use this operator as insertion operator using cout object and it can be used as bitwise shift left. We are having end operator. It can be used as reference variable or to pass reference or it can be used as bitwise end. So whenever you provide two operands to end operator, it will perform bitwise end. But if you provide one operand, it will treat it as reference variable. But this multipurpose is predefined in compiler. Now we want to add more meaning to any of this operator. We have to use concept operator overloading. More on operator overloading is specifying more than one definition for an operator. It will be called operator overloading. And if you want to apply operator overloading, then you have to create operator functions or you need to write operator functions. Now let us see how to write this operator function, how to apply operator overloading concept in our program. So here is the syntax. It is very similar like the syntax of function definition. Same way we will be having written type then keyword operator and then operator symbol. So you can substitute any of the operator symbol over here and then argument list and your body of that operator function. So this syntax is very similar to function definition syntax. Here you are supposed to write function name. Instead of that you need to write keyword operator and your operator symbol. Let us see few example of this syntax. Suppose I want to overload operator plus then return type is void operator keyword 
then your operator symbol and arguments suppose your operator function is returning some integer value in in that code then you are supposed to write return type integer operator keyword then your symbol and arguments suppose your operator function is returning some object and object is always of type class so you are supposed to write class name as return type then your operator keyword operator symbol and arguments in same way we can return float values also so this is the syntax of operator function so now we know the concept of operator overloading now question comes how to write operator functions in our program and how to invoke that function from main so let us see one example here is the program of overloading binary operator plus plus is a binary operator so it will take two operands to perform operation here we are having class complex consider this as complex number so it will be having two parts real part and imaginary parts that's why we have created two variables real and imaginary now we are creating one constructor that is type default and we are assigning value 0 to real and imaginary variable we are creating one parameterized constructor with two arguments x and y that is used to initialize the value of real and imaginary when we create any object and i am creating one function this that will display the value of real and imaginary for the object now first of all we have created object c1 passing arguments 4 and 6 so for object c1 real will be 4 and imaginary will be 6 next i am creating object c2 and passing arguments 7 and 9 so it will call parameter as constructor and assign 7 to real value and 9 to imaginary value and third i am creating c3 object it will call default constructor and assign value 0 to real and imaginary part so let us declare one operator function here we are having written type complex because we are supposed to return one object of type complex then operator keyword then your plus symbol that is operator symbol and as argument we are passing one complex objects that's why it is written here complex type so when we write this statement c3 equals to c1 plus c2 it will automatically call the definition that we are supposed to write over here and perform addition of two objects that is c1 and c2 and it will store answer to the c3 so this statement is similar to function call like c1 dot operator plus so we are supposed to call operator plus function using operator c1 and passing c2 as argument over here so this is function notation and this is operator notation but in operator overloading concept we will use this notation so let us define this function here i am writing definition outside the function so this operator function name it is part of class complex and it's written type complex and passing argument of type complex here i am creating one temporary object now i am calling c1 dot operator so if i write real so it will be value of c1 dot real it will be 4 and i am passing c2 as argument it will be copied to c so if i write c dot real it will refer the value 7 that is the real value of object c2 same way we can add imaginary parts by writing image plus c dot image so c will be ultimately referring the real and imaginary value of c2 and we are calling c1 dot operator so real and imaginary will be used of object c1 and we are returning the object temp so tmp will be written to the object c3 now i am calling c1 dot display we are calling display function inside display we have printed real and image but we have called c1 dot display so it will refer the value of real and image for object c1 that is 4 and 6 next i am displaying c2 dot display so we have called this function using object c2 so real and imaginary of c2 will be considered that is 7 and 9 and third i am calling c3 dot display that will be addition of real value and imaginary value of c1 and c2 so let us write program in editor to understand this concept in detail here we are having class complex and having two members that is real and imaginary i have created one default constructor that will initialize real and imaginary as 
0 one parameterized constructor in that I am assigning value x to real and y to imaginary now I am creating one object let's say c1 and passing argument 4 and 7 so it will automatically calling parameterized constructor over here and assign value 4 to real and 7 to imaginary part now I am creating another object with argument 5 and 8 it will again call parameterized constructor and assign values 5 and 8 and in next line I am creating object c3 I am not passing any argument so default constructor will be called and real and imaginary will holding value 0 0 now if I call c1 dot display over here then control will jump to the definition of display inside display I am referring value real so it will display real value of object c1 for object c1 real value that is 4 that we have assigned while calling parameter as constructor if I refer imaginary value then it will display imaginary value of object c1 why because we have called display function with the use of object c1 now if I call c2 dot display so real and imaginary value of c2 will be referred over here why because it is called by object c2 same way if I call c3 dot display then real and imaginary value will be of object c3 that will be 0 and 0 I want to add c1 and c2 objects so if I create one regular member function that will add two objects suppose if I write c1 dot add if I write real over here then it will be using real value of object c1 and I want to add that real value with object c2 so I need to pass object c2 over here so it will be copied to x and now I can refer x dot real so that will be value of object c2 and I want to store it somewhere so I am creating another object over here that is temporary object let's say tmp and I am storing it into tmp dot real same way if I write tmp dot imaginary value and if I write only image then it will refer imaginary value of object c1 because this function is called by object c1 over here so it will refer the value of object c1 as I am passing object c2 as argument it will be copied to x and if I refer x dot imaginary so it will be the imaginary value of object c2 and storing it into temporary object and I am returning this temporary so I am returning temporary object of type complex so here return type will be complex same way we are supposed to store in some complex objects when I call c1 dot add and passing argument c2 it will call function add and it will return some object and it will be stored in c3 now if I display c3 dot display then it will display us addition of real and imaginary values of object c1 and c2 let us execute this code so the real value of object c1 is 4 imaginary is 7 for object c2 real is 5 imaginary is 8 and c3 that is the addition of object c1 and c2 and it will display 9 and 15 now i want to create operator function for operator function return type will be complex we will use keyword operator then operator symbol and our argument will be complex x so here you can compare these two code the only difference is that here we have used name add and here we have used keyword operator and plus all the things are same so operator function is very similar to member function just we need to use the operator symbol and operator keyword over here if i want to call operator function same way like add function i can write c1 dot we have used add that is the name of this function same way we can use this name at the time of calling so if i comment this code so it will call c1 dot operator plus function over here it will perform addition and while calling i am passing object c2 as argument let us execute this code it will be displaying the same output like we have called add function but operator function is called like this c1 plus c2 let us comment this line 
it will be displaying the similar output so when we are using operator overloading concept we will call operator function with the normal operator usage so this statement is very similar to function call operator plus so in our general use we will use statement so this is how operator overloading concept works thank you